Middle East from Wikipedia. The Free Encyclopedia The Middle East is a transcontinental region centered on Western Asia, Turkey, both Asian and European, and Egypt, which is mostly in North Africa. Saudi Arabia is geographically the largest Middle Eastern nation while Bahrain is the smallest. The corresponding adjective is Middle Eastern and the derived noun is Middle Easterner. The term has come into wider usage as a replacement of the term Near East, as opposed to the Far East, beginning in the early 20th century. Arabs, Turks, Persians, Kurds, and Azeris, excluding Azerbaijan, constitute the largest ethnic groups in the region by population. Arabs constitute the largest ethnic group in the region by a clear margin. 2. Indigenous minorities of the Middle East include Jews, Balosh, Assyrians, Aramines, Berbers, who primarily live in North Africa, Copts, Druze, Mandaeans, Samaritans, Shabaks, Tats, and Zazas. In the Middle East, there is also a Romani community. European ethnic groups that form a diaspora in the region include Albanians, Bosniaks, Circassians, including Cabodians, Crimean Tatars, Greeks, Franco-Levantines, and Italo-Levantines. Among other migrant populations are Bengalis as well as other Indians, Chinese, Filipinos, Indonesians, Pakistanis, Afghans, and Sub-Saharan Africans. The history of the Middle East dates back to ancient times, with the geopolitical importance of the region being recognized for millennia. 3 4 5 Several major religions have their origins in the Middle East, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the Baha'i Faith, Mandaism, Unitarian Druze, and numerous other belief systems were also established within the region. The Middle East generally has a hot, arid climate, with several major rivers providing irrigation to support agriculture in limited areas such as the Nile Delta in Egypt, the Tigris and Euphrates watersheds of Mesopotamia, and most of what is known as the Fertile Crescent. Most of the countries that border the Persian Gulf have vast reserves of crude oil, with monarchs of the Arabian Peninsula in particular benefiting economically from petroleum exports. Terminology The term Middle East may have originated in the 1850s in the British India Office. 6. However, it became more widely known when American naval strategist Alfred Thayer used the term in 1907 to designate the area between Arabia and India. 8. 9. During this time, the British and Russian empires were vying for influence in Central Asia, a rivalry which would become known as the Great Game. Mahan realized not only the strategic importance of the region, but also of its center, the Persian Gulf. 1011, he labeled the area surrounding the Persian Gulf as the Middle East, and said that after Egypt's Suez Canal, it was the most important passage for Britain to control in order to keep the Russians from advancing towards British India. 12. Mahan first used the term in his article The Persian Gulf and International Relations published in September 1902 in the National Review, a British journal. The Middle East, if I may adopt a term which I have not seen, will someday need its Malta, as well as its Gibraltar, it does not follow that either will be in the Persian Gulf. Naval force has the quality of mobility which carries with it the privilege of temporary absences, but it needs to find on every scene of operation established bases of refit, of supply and in case of disaster, of security. The British Navy should have the facility to concentrate in force if occasion arise, about Aden, India, and the Persian Gulf. 13. Mahan's article was reprinted in the Times and followed in October by a 20-article series entitled The Middle Eastern Question, written by Sir Ignatius Valentine Chirol. During this series, Sir Ignatius expanded the definition of Middle East to include those regions of Asia which extend to the borders of India or command the approaches to India. 14. After the series ended in 1903, the Times removed quotation marks from subsequent uses of the term. 15. Until World War II, 
it was customary to refer to areas centered around Turkey and the eastern shore of the Mediterranean as the Near East, while the Far East centered on China, 16, and the Middle East then meant the area from Mesopotamia to Burma, namely the area between the Near East and the Far East. Citation needed, in the late 1930s, the British established the Middle East Command, which was based in Cairo, for its military forces in the region. After that time, the term Middle East gained broader usage in Europe and the United States, with the Middle East Institute founded in Washington, D.C. in 1946, among other usage. 17, Criticism and Usage File Middle East. Og 1957 American film about the Middle East. The description Middle has also led to some confusion over changing definitions. Before the First World War, Near East was used in English to refer to the Balkans and the Ottoman Empire, while Middle East referred to Iran, the Caucasus, Afghanistan, Central Asia, and Tkistan. In contrast, Far East referred to the countries of East Asia, for example China, Japan, Korea, etc. With the disappearance of the Ottoman Empire in 1918, Near East largely fell out of common use in English, while Middle East came to be applied to the re-emerging countries of the Islamic world. However, the usage Near East was retained by a variety of academic disciplines, including archaeology and ancient history, where it describes an area identical to the term Middle East, which is not used by these disciplines, see Ancient Near East. The first official use of the term Middle East by the United States government was in the 1957 Eisenhower Doctrine, which pertains to the Suez Crisis. Secretary of State John Foster Dulles defined the Middle East as the area lying between and including Libya on the west and Pakistan on the east, Syria and Iraq on the north and the Arabian Peninsula to the south, plus the Sudan and Ethiopia. 16, in 1958, the State Department explained that the terms Near East and Middle East were interchangeable, and defined the region as including only Egypt, Syria, Israel, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar. 18. The Associated Press style book says that Near East formally referred to the farther West countries while Middle East referred to the Eastern ones, but that now they are synonymous. It instructs, use Middle East unless Near East is used by a source in a story. Middle East is also acceptable, but Middle East is preferred. 19. The term Middle East has also been criticized as Eurocentric, based on a British Western perception, by Hanafi, 1998. 20. 